Hi! Uh, I am about to do what's called patch skin testing uh, and I'm really excited so I wanted to video document it. I've been waiting months to get this appointment due to scheduling issues and just the fact that how it's how it works but essentially as a brief overview this is a test of your skin kind of like allergy testing to different chemicals and the reason why i'm getting this test is to find out what gives me eczema and flare-ups of my skin um so i'm really excited to finally find out what things i can start avoiding to help with my skin health um the test is a three-day test where the first day they put something like 60 different chemicals uh, into wells, if you remember anything from chemistry, and then they put this essentially on your back, and that stays there for the week, essentially, and Wednesday is a Monday they do that, then Wednesday you come back, they remove the wells and the the thing that applies the chemical and then on Friday they see what actually gives you a reaction around your skin like is it red is it bumpy did it kind of swell up what happened and then that's how they identify which chemicals in everyday products causes um, the flare-ups for you like what specifically you are allergic to um, I saw this when I was rotating actually at this office as a resident my first year and it just never worked out for me to come back and get it and it just keeps happening where I spend a lot of money on products and then I get a rash or just doesn't react, respond well to me so um, this is what sparked this to finally get done. Um, I'm tired of spending a lot of money on products that don't work for me. Uh, so I'm going to walk through it as best I can and document it. Yeah. Like a, um... Okay. So this is now day three of the patch skin testing. I just got out of the doctor's office. I won't lie. The first day or two were really rough with the, um, uh, tape on my back and the first day I really having it um it was uncomfortable it was exhausting the second day i feel like my body just adjusted to it just certain motions so it kind of like repositioned itself where it should be and it wasn't as bad maybe a little bit itchy but it wasn't bad at all finally got the tape off it doesn't look like any of the spots that they had the wells in are really irritated yet so i'm hoping that this wasn't a waste of time and that they find something by friday and that's it okay so i'm done i went to my third appointment hadi came with me um so they only found three allergens and they were like not even really positive like for sure allergens that i'm allergic to so I spent 90 bucks to find out I'm allergic to Neosporin. You know what I'm allergic to? Haters. Exactly. <laughs> um, but anyways, moving on from my experience. Oh, you're gonna go the other way. Um, basically, she found that I also have an, um, like a plus minus reaction to nitri uh, a chemical that could be found, found in nitrile gloves which I think is actually fascinating because I always thought that the nitrile gloves were more, um, for, were better for my skin, like I felt more comfortable with them. But uh, turns out that that's actually one of the things that gives me an issue. So now I know that I need to special request these vinyl gloves. So future employer, get ready to spend extra money on me. <laughs> um, yeah, right here. And then, um, I guess there's one other product too that is in some of these uh, uh, like facial products and skincare products and stuff. But again, it's like not really a true allergen. But they tested 80 different chemicals. Um, the part that I thought was really cool was that they inputted the chemicals into this app and they gave me access to the app 
and now I can look up if the certain products like Dove Soap or Poland Spring or whatever, Drunk Elephant, I don't know if that's even going to be on there, but all these really um, popular, well-known uh, products are in the app, and if it's safe, then I'll be able to look it up within the app given the ingredients that they put in that I have these re reactions to. So I think that's pretty cool. At least I get to have that as a resource. And that is called um, ACDS Camp. That's the name of the app. Um, Allergic Contact Dermatitis Society Contact Allergen Management Program. Um, they also told me about the app called Think Dirty, which some people may have already heard of this because it's free. But you can basically look up common ingredients like Tide and other things with their ingredient list and look into which ones could possibly be the allergens or essentially look into the ingredient list and if you know which chemical you're allergic to then you can look through that list as well and find it. Um, so I think that that's probably my favorite part of this experience and makes it worth it. If you basically the end point for me was that I guess I just have eczema but not a true systemic allergy to certain chemicals which is maybe a better thing for me I guess uh, because then I don't have to start searching for certain chemicals I just have to be more mindful of what I'm using as opposed to somebody who has a systemic allergy should know what chemicals they are allergic to so that they can take the time to really avoid them um, so yeah that was my experience I would recommend this if uh, there is somebody out there who needs to check their skin. Um, find a dermatologist you trust. Make sure that they check as many chemicals as possible. I was told that there are other um, patch testing that do even more than 80 chemicals. So if I ever repeat this process again, if it becomes an issue again, I would probably just make sure that I'm getting more chemicals tested or different chemicals tested because now I got the list too of what they tested before so that at least I'm not repeating the same test so that's my spiel so basically you wasted $90 I didn't waste it alright alright bye